So Realme recently announced a new software update to the Realme GT2 Pro. It's the Realme UI 3.0 edition with Android 13. Now this update is definitely a precursor to what Realme UI 4.0 or Realme UI 5.0 will look like in the future. And I say Realme UI 5.0 because 4 is an unlucky number in China and we might just see Realme skip that number this year. Anyway, this is going to be a quick video, a showcase of all the new features that you get with Realme UI 3.0 with Android 13 on the Realme GT2 Pro. If you don't know me yet, I'm Ashad. you're watching Track & Tech English, let's begin. The first thing that I noticed when I got the update is this word, aquamorphic design. And if that sounds familiar, that's because you watched the OnePlus 10T launch event and saw what Oxygen OS 13 brings. Because yes, OnePlus is also using the same term to describe the new design language. However hard OnePlus, Realme and Oppo are trying to create their own individual identity, they cannot escape the fact that the software is all just codebase color OS. So the first thing that I noticed is the new design language change. There's not much that's different. The very first thing that stands out is the quick settings in the you know notification shade. You can see a couple of big tiles out here and I've edited them right now. I, I've got the auto rotate tile which looks bigger over here so yeah so you can change that and when you move around any of one of these tiles they become like a bigger tile out here so you can see that also there is this new music playing widget so if you're playing songs from any app of your choice and you know it basically showcases uh you know the song that's playing over here in this widget itself unfortunately the music widget is constant over there and you cannot really change it to any other app of your choice also realme ui 3.0 has updated the legibility of the fonts it's very nice to read especially in in, uh, you know the light mode I'm not a fan of the dark mode so I really like the way the fonts look out here and apart from that you also get these stacked card like layout within you know features and functions themselves for example if you go to display and brightness within uh, the settings app you'll see that certain bits or aspects of information are bunched in you know stacks and it definitely does give a more cohesive vibe to the whole uh, design language of Realme UI 3.0 with Android 13 it does look very good and while scrolling through the entire settings app I noticed these new visualizations for sounds it looks kind of cool and it sounds kind of nice too take a listen for yourself You can also see this new widget for the GT mode that I find really interesting because it is an actionable widget. So if you want to start GT mode, you can quickly hit the power button and it starts on. So yeah, widgets have also been improved to look very good and cohesive along with the entire UI and layout itself. The entire operating system, the way the animations move, all of that is extremely smooth. Now, one new addition to Realme UI 3.0 with Android 13 is enlarged folders. If that sounds familiar, that's something that we saw in Nothing OS for the very first time. All you need to do is long press the folder and then you'll get the enlarged folder option. What does this help you do? Basically, you can directly open an app from that enlarged folder itself. So if you have icons within that folder, you just click it and it'll open the app directly. And if you shrink the folder, then you know it goes into a state where you'll have to open the folder and then click on the icon to open the app. But unlike nothing OS, you do not get an enlarged icon option which would have been a nice touch for sure now that was the design part of the update the second bit that i want to show you guys is quick action within the search function inside the app drawer just like realme ui 3.0 with android 13 which values quick actions and the importance of quick actions we also value it a lot so please quickly act and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to get notified whenever we put out an awesome new tech video and if you like the kind of videos that we make don't forget to hit the like button and maybe even comment below for the sake of the youtube algorithm essentially when you search for certain apps you also get the quick actions for that app in that search itself for example let me type out chrome and you'll see that I can directly start an incognito tab or a new tab. And if I say, for example, type settings, then you can directly search for stuff from here itself. And say, for example, if I search for keep notes, an app that I use very regularly, you can create a new text note directly from here. I find this very useful and uh, this is something that I do on the regular. So yeah, pretty helpful feature. Now, if you need any more proof that there is consolidation of ColorOS, Realme UI and Oxygen OS happening under the radar and, you know, none of them are willing to accept that that's the truth. Well, this gives away all of that. Basically, OnePlus, sorry, Realme, but 
really know what what's the difference really. Basically, you can see the cool inside AOD that was present in OnePlus phones has now also been ported over to Realme. Now, apart from this, the canvas always on display on Oxygen OS is called Portrait Silhouette on Realme UI. I'm just quickly showcasing how that works on Realme UI and what all you can do with it. So yeah, so this is what it looks like. Just hold on for a second when it creates this for us. It's a terrible portrait image, so please don't mind that. So basically, you can change the color of the silhouette itself. Now you can choose whatever color you want to. Also from this carousel, you can pick whatever color you want to, and then you can style it differently as well. Basically, yeah, I mean, you can create these dotted lines or do something different with it anyway. Also, you can erase a few parts of the image that it might have captured unnecessarily. I move on to next, and you'll see that this is what the portrait silhouette AOD looks like. Not really a big fan of it, but yeah, I mean, this is there. You know what? The biggest update, according to me, is the update that they've done to Kids Space on Realme UI. What you can do now is, of course, once you enter the Kids Space, you can create the exact kind of you know look and feel for the phone that you want for your kid. You can choose the kind of apps that you know the kid should uh, be able to function. And apart from that, you can also have an eye protecting display. Basically, you can filter the blue light to ensure that your kid's eyesight is not affected. And you can also have a time limit for how long the kid can actually use the phone. All of this is pretty, pretty useful, but I think it'll translate better to a tablet form factor. So I'd like to see how that works uh, on Realme UI 3.0 with Android 13. So now for the final feature, this is not a feature that Realme is actually highlighting, but I noticed that there's this new 3D photo feature. I don't know if that's necessarily a feature that's already available, but this is the first time that I saw it on Realme UI 13 with Android 13. Once you open the picture, you see that you have different styles that you can create, uh, you know, a 3D photo with and the background and the foreground are separated so they move it's like a tiny little uh, video that plays and there are different kind of uh, kinds of uh, you know 3D photos that you can take it's an okay feature nothing really great so those were the new features with Realme UI 3.0 with Android 13 I don't think this is the full stack of features that you'll get in the next version of Realme UI but this is definitely an idea of the kind of features that will come to the platform sometime later this year or sometime early next year so that's it for me this was like a quick show showcase from us on what you can expect from your realme phones in the future the moment we get access to the other operating systems like one ui 5.0 oxygen os 13 i'll definitely make a separate video showcasing all the cool new features and maybe even a comparison later in the day to tell you guys which one i feel is better all right see you guys in the next one until next time keep tracking and stay safe